Germ Cell Tumor, Wikipedia Audio A germ cell tumor is a neoplasm derived from germ cells. Germ cell tumors can be cancerous or non-cancerous tumors. Germ cells normally occur inside the gonads. Germ cell tumors that originate outside the gonads may be birth defects resulting from errors during development of the embryo. Some investigators suggest that this distribution arises as a consequence of abnormal migration of germ cells during embryogenesis. Others hypothesize a widespread distribution of germ cells to multiple sites during normal embryogenesis, with these cells conveying genetic information or providing regulatory functions at somatic sites. Extragonadal germ cell tumors were thought initially to be isolated metastases from an undetected primary tumor in a gonad, but it is now known that many germ cell tumors are congenital and originate outside the gonads. The most notable of these is sacrococcygeal teratoma, the single most common tumor diagnosed in babies at birth. Cause of all anterior mediastinal tumors, 15-20% are germ cell tumors of which approximately 50% are benign teratomas. Ovarian teratomas may be associated with anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis. Germ cell tumors are classified by their histology, regardless of location in the body. The germinotomous or seminoma 2 germ cell tumors include only germinoma and its synonyms dysgerminoma and seminoma. The non-germinomatous or non-seminotomous germ cell tumors include all other germ cell tumors, pure and mixed. Germ cell tumors are broadly divided in two classes. The two classes reflect an important clinical difference. Compared to germinotomous tumors, non-germinomatous tumors tend to grow faster, have an earlier mean age at time of diagnosis, and have a lower 5-year survival rate. The survival rate for germinotomous tumors is higher in part because these tumors are very sensitive to radiation, and they also respond well to chemotherapy. The prognosis for non-germinomatous tumors has improved dramatically, however, due to the use of platinum-based chemotherapy regimens. Mixed germ cell tumors occur in many forms. Among these, a common form is teratoma with endodermal sinus tumor. Teratocarcinoma refers to a germ cell tumor that is a mixture of teratoma with embryonal carcinoma or with choriocarcinoma, or with both. This kind of mixed germ cell tumor may be known simply as a teratoma with elements of embryonal carcinoma or choriocarcinoma, or simply by ignoring the teratoma component and referring only to its malignant component, embryonal carcinoma and slash or choriocarcinoma. They can present in the anterior mediastinum. Despite their name, germ cell tumors occur both within and outside the ovary and testis. Head, inside the cranium pineal and supracellar locations are most commonly reported, inside the mouth a fairly common location for teratoma. In females, germ cell tumors account for 30% of ovarian tumors but only 1 to 3% of ovarian cancers in North America. In younger women germ cell tumors are more common, thus in patients under the age of 21, 60% of ovarian tumors are of the germ cell type, and up to one-third are malignant. In males, germ cell tumors of the testis occur typically after puberty and are malignant. In neonates, infants, and children younger than 4 years, the majority of germ cell tumors are sacrococcygeal teratomas. Males with Klinefelter syndrome have a 50 times greater risk of germ cell tumors. In these persons, GSTs usually contain non-seminotomous elements, present at an earlier age, 
and seldom are gonadal in location. Classification Women with benign germ cell tumors such as mature teratomas are cured by ovarian cystectomy or oophorectomy. In general, all patients with malignant germ cell tumors will have the same staging surgery that is done for epithelial ovarian cancer. If the patient is in her reproductive years, an alternative is unilateral salping oophorectomy, while the uterus, the ovary, and the fallopian tube on the opposite side can be left behind. This isn't an option when the cancer is in both ovaries. If the patient has finished having children, the surgery involves complete staging including salping oophorectomy on both sides as well as hysterectomy. Most patients with germ cell cancer will need to be treated with combination chemotherapy for at least three cycles. The chemotherapy regimen most commonly used in germ cell tumors is called PEB, and consists of bleomycin, edaposide, a platinum-based antineoplastic. The 1997 International Germ Cell Consensus Classification is a tool for estimating the risk of relapse after treatment of malignant germ cell tumor. A small study of ovarian tumors in girls reports a correlation between cystic and benign tumors and, conversely, solid and malignant tumors. Because the cystic extent of a tumor can be estimated by ultrasound, MRI, or CT scan before surgery, this permits selection of the most appropriate surgical plan to minimize risk of spillage of a malignant tumor. Access to appropriate treatment has a large effect on outcome. A 1993 study of outcomes in Scotland found that for 454 men with non-seminotomous germ cell tumors diagnosed between 1975 and 1989, five-year survival increased over time and with earlier diagnosis. Adjusting for these and other factors, survival was 60% higher for men treated in a cancer unit that treated the majority of these men even though the unit treated more men with the worst prognosis. Choreocarcinoma of the testicles has the worst prognosis of all germ cell cancers. Germinotomous Non-germinomatous Mixed Location Treatment Prognosis <laughs>